Doing my bachelor thesis project was one of the best learning experiences that I have ever had in my life. But the decisions which led me to choose this particular bioinformatics project on iPS cells has just been completely influenced by the different exposures and the different things that I've had throughout my AMS degree. From the start, one of the subjects which really engaged me the most was infection and immunology. And this is a very complicated system, which even today we just don't understand how it works and we are not able to manipulate it very well. But it's such an infinite and interesting subject. And this was what led me to kind of advance from my first year modules, which were mainly more focused on physiology and clinical physiology, to then go into something a bit more like infection and immunology. So I chose the infection module in my uh, for my second year, and I also had to do the molecular basis of disease module, which had a humongous focus on immunology as well. And Previously to this, in between, in between years one and two, I had done an internship in a urine laboratory where I was collecting urine samples from patients and then I was doing laboratory experiments on them and doing microscopy and counting. And this experience that I had, it was extremely rewarding and I learned so much, but I felt like there was something missing. I felt like I had... I felt like physiology and immunology are two very important parts of the picture to the human body. But then I wanted something which was a bit more quantitative. I wanted something which, which dealt with a different kind of data. And so while I was in my second year, in addition to doing those topics in infection and in immunology, I also chose to do a physics of the human body module. And this module was very, very interesting because it taught me a different way of viewing the body how you can use mechanics to calculate something like if you were to slap your hand on the wall and the wall is a certain temperature, how much the heat transfer would be. Um, if you were to bend your arm, how you can calculate this moment and the force that would be exerted on the, on the moment. But what I then realized was one of my weaknesses, which is I am not a physicist and I can only be either a medical biologist or I could go down the stream of physics, physics. So although this was something very interesting, and although I learned so many important ways that we can view biology, I did not choose to pursue this any further. And this was also in part guided by a laboratory project, which I did outside of my degree. The project was in the Institute of Musculoskeletal Science where we grew collagen gels and seeded them with muscle cells. And then we got two poles and we were observing the amount of tension and force that these muscle collagen gels were exerting on these. And we were applying different strains and different tensions to measure different properties, especially when you add different drugs to like statins, how it affects the growth and the strength and the tension. And all of this was in the same way, amazing. I learned a completely new way of looking at cell-based biology, but I just did not feel like it was for me. I felt like, although I could appreciate and love the subject, I appreciated the numbers and I really loved looking at the, the data, but the practical side of it, I thought just wasn't exactly the path that I wanted to go down. And this led me when I was going at the end of my second year to then choose my final year project. This would be the last thing that I would do as part of my bachelor project, as part of my AMS degree. And what I wanted to go for this time was bioinformatics, because bioinformatics was the same kind of quantitative data which I had observed and which I had seen in the lab where I was working with the tension and with the collagen gels. And it also had aspects of physics and of, of numbers and of data, which I, I was very purely interested in. And it also had a bit of a cool aspect to me at the time. The fact that big data is becoming such a big thing and the way which we can apply it, it can essentially be applied to so many things within the world of medicine and biology and medical science. And this was another huge factor because I found myself so deeply interested in so many things. I found myself interested in stem cells, in viruses, in therapeutics. But bioinformatics is a subject where you become the bioinformatician and you specialize in that. 
and then the art is applying that to whatever kind of subject you want to go for, whether you're looking at the genomes of cancer cells or whether you're looking at the genomes of human cells or of viruses. And this was the journey that I had throughout my AMS degree, which led me to pick this as my project.